have a little walk around the swapper. It's a Heston 9260. It's a hydrostatic self propelled swapper. Rotary head. 15 foot 3 inch cut on it. 10 cutting turtles, two blades apiece. Steel crimper rolls. As these spin, throws the material in as a bottom roller to help lift it, and then uh, the materials roll through them. Two sets of crimpers, that set of crimpers there, to condition the crop. The uh, headers driven by two hydraulic motors, one on each side of the head. It's in there. The big hydraulic motor that runs down straight down to the cutter bed this belt here runs the crimper rolls three shafts for each of the rolls the engine is a Cummins QSB I'm not sure if it's a 5.9 or a 6.7 but I think it's a 6.7 it's electronic, it's got an ECM this one's got a chip on it, three positions, I think there's 10% horsepower increase, 20 and 30. It's 185 horse standard, so when it's at 30%, what does that make it? And about 245 horsepower, something like that. Hydraulic tank, fuel tank, it's all, it's all hydraulic driven, everything is hydraulic on this thing, there's nothing mechanical whatsoever. Okay, we'll have a look around the cab here. It's a little dirty. It was bought just we just bought it two weeks ago and it came straight off off a farm, straight out of the field. It's set up with John Deere Auto Steer. It's got the Auto Track uh, ATU 2000 kit. The globe hooks in and hooks to the front over there, and the screen hooks right here. Controls. It's like a combine, we've got the buttons for the header up and down, the tilt for the header up and down, this one is not used, and you go forward to go forward, backwards to go backwards, the gauges, miles an hour, temperature and all that stuff. Park brake, you can speed the head up on this switch, road gear, within field right now turtle, road gear is the rabbit lights these are not used because we don't have the conveyor belt for the merger that's what this is and that's for the reel but we don't have a reel because we've got a rotary head now these are kind of temperamental to um, to use we can start it up to make sure it's in neutral Swaffer, a self-propelled swaffer being hydrostat will move just from turning the steering wheel. It takes a bit of getting used to, I'm not used to it too much. But basically if I turn the steering wheel, the machine will turn around. And if you don't have it in neutral when it starts up, it's going to turn around and around by itself. So it's pretty, pretty, uh, it takes some getting used to. Now these, when you go forward, you turn left to go left, and right to go right. But when you're in reverse, you turn left to go right, and right to go left, so it takes a little. So you're turning left, but with the machine's turning right. It takes quite a little getting used. 